Hello and welcome back to Lily White Lane. I am special guest Cody Mack and uh, I've had the honor of being asked to do a, a short video here for for the channel. Um, the question being, what do I think are five of the best bargain transfers of all time for Tottenham Hotspur? So let me just start by saying this, this is a difficult question because it depends how you want to look at the value of, of a deal. You know, are you talking more about a player that you purchase at a certain price and are able to sell on at a massive profit? Or are you talking about a player who you purchase at a reasonable price and, and is a good servant to the club? So I've gone through the history of, of our transfers and uh, done my best to kind of run the spectrum of who I think were, were some of our biggest bargains. And uh, I'm going to start with uh, Jimmy Greaves. Now, Jimmy Greaves was not a bargain player by any stretch of the imagination. We purchased him from AC Milan for what at the time was a record in Britain of £99,999. Now, this is in December of 1961, so uh, to adjust for inflation, that would be £3.5 million pounds today. Of course, that's that makes it sound like a very good deal, but players were not bought and sold for, for nearly what they are sold for now. So it was a very big deal at the time. But when you're talking about someone who ends up making 381 appearances, scoring 266 goals for Tottenham Hotspur, someone who was a two-time FA Cup winner in 62 and 67, and he was a part of that European Cup Winners Cup winning side of 1963, I think you have to say that we got our money's worth out of Jimmy Greaves, obviously a club legend and the one that Harry Kane is trying to track down in terms of the all-time goal-scoring list for Tottenham. He also had won 57 caps for England, scoring 44 goals, and was a World Cup champion in 1966. He led the Football League in scoring six different times. My first choice, Jimmy Greaves. Uh, next, I'm going to talk about Graham Roberts. Graham Roberts was a defender that we purchased from Southampton in May of 1980 for 35,000 pounds, which inflation adjusted is 153,000 pounds. Again, a little bit difficult to compare one era to the next in terms of how met, how much footballers were bought and sold for at the time. But uh, we ended up selling him on uh, a few years later for 450,000 pounds. So however you want to measure it, you know we've uh, we've got that investment back. 12 times over. Uh, he was a member of the FA Cup winning side of 1981 and 82, as well as the 1984 UEFA Cup team that, that was won the year that I was born. Uh, he, he also was a captain during his time at the club and uh, was a stout defender and a great leader. Uh, he lost three teeth in the first match of the uh, 81 Cup Final against Manchester City, uh, refusing to come off the pitch uh, and then playing a key role in the replay that saw us lift the cup. So Graham Roberts, the second on my list. Next, we're going to come more into modern times. I would like to say Delhi Alley, uh, who we purchased for $5 million from MK Dons. Uh, 64 goals, 55 assists, and 251 appearances for Spurs in all competitions. Obviously, at 24 years old, it's yet to be determined if this is going to be uh, the end for Deli Alley uh, as he's kind of fallen off uh, in terms of his performance in the last couple of years. But peak Deli Alley was a big part of uh, the squad that was able to make Champions League football and indeed secure a Champions League final for Tottenham. Uh, his peak market value was all the way up at £95 million, uh, but currently, due to his, his drop in form, he's come all the way back down to earth at £30 million. So, yet to be seen how much of a profit that will turn off Deli Alley, but uh, uh, we can say that we've definitely got good service out of a player that we bought at for pennies on the dollar. Um, I would also like to mention Hugo Lloris, uh, who signed from Lyon, in uh, 2012 for 14 million pounds. Now, Ugo is currently valued at 8.5 million pounds, but I, I think that for the price that we paid for a keeper who has turned who has turned into a world class keeper and really solidified that position for a long period of time for us. Hugo's made 373 appearances for Tottenham Hotspur, 298 in the Premier League, and has won 121 clean sheets. Uh, you don't know what you have until it's gone. Uh, I, I personally think that this is the last year for, for Hugo Lloris. I think he has his eyes set on a return to France, 
and uh, I ho certainly hope we're able to replace him with a capable backup because, um, like I said, you don't know what you have until he's gone. His current market value is set at eight and a half million pounds, so uh, that's you know just over half of what we paid for him. So for, to, to get nine solid years of service from Lloris for that price has been a boon for this club. And last but not least, we would have we have to finish on Gareth Bale, who uh, we purchased for an initial fee of five million pounds, which was uh, meant to go all the way up to ten million in add-ons. We we bought him in two thousand and seven from Southampton and sold him for eighty five million to Real Madrid on September first of twenty thirteen, which at the time was a record transfer fee. And uh, boy, did Real Madrid get their money's worth. Of course, he's he's been on a massive contract there ever since. But Madrid have gone on to win everything basically. You know, four time Champions League champions. Um, he he scored sixty six goals and. Uh, netted 32 assists for Tottenham in 203 appearances. He also scored 105 goals for Real Madrid in 251 appearances. And who can forget his magical game-winning goal in the Champions League final, the overhead kick against Liverpool. Simply put, Gareth Bale, an absolute legend, uh, and for £5 million initial fee, has to be right up there with one of the best bargains of all time, never mind just in Tottenham's history. But that's going to wrap up this short video on all-time transfer bargains for Tottenham Hotspur. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, make sure you click like and subscribe to Lily White Lane. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys around. Take care.